Howdy howdy y'all, I'm Paint That Bill, and today what I'll be doing is I'll be drawing one of my sister's characters. Or, well, it is one of her characters, but me and her share a little roleplay that we like to do. So I figured, why not try and draw some of the characters from the roleplay? Now I wanted to show the character I've drawn, which is my character from the roleplay, and her name, her name's Crimson, but that took up way too much time and it would have ended up over almost a 30 minute video which I know a lot of you guys are fans of mine but I don't know I don't know if you guys really want to watch a 30 minute video if you do let me know but for now I'm just gonna stick with this so if you can't tell I am improvising this video I'm trying to get more comfortable when speaking into the microphone and coming up with things on the spot so that my content seems more I don't know how to put it um human like and less robotic like <laughs> I've been described as a person as very stoic so to put it so I don't want that to come through in my videos because I don't want people to get bored <laughs> I should go probably go ahead and talk about the video. Alright, so for this video, this character is about my sister is my sister's character from our roleplay, and her name is Sassy. Now what what this roleplay is all about is this roleplay, um There are we are set in the modern world where magic runs abound. You have elves, imps, and all that sort of stuff. But in this world, elements such as fire, water, air, earth, shadows, light, ice, chaos, light, all these elements that make up our world, they need to, to be kept under control, so to put it. Because these elements without the human, or I should say, the fantasy people taking care of them are going to go crazy and destroy the world that they know. So from the very beginning, you've had elemental guardians. It's mostly a family, a family sort of tradition. You don't get paid for your work, but you are high reserved and all that. And most people will let you do things for free. As long as it's like for the protection of the city or whatever. <laughs> so this character, Sassy, is the elemental guardian of Earth. She is a stone maiden. And that's a race under, that's a race under like the Earth category. There are like categories. You have fire elves, you have ice elves, you have mermaids, stone maidens shadow a lot of elves but they all fall into elemental categories but these fantasy creatures don't have magic per se they have potions but they don't have magic the only people who have magic are the elemental guardians and well there are have been elemental guardians who have crossed the line but those elemental guardians are few in between because the rest of the guardians keep them in check mostly not to mention that these little elemental guardians have these little, I could call them chibi characters. Basically the first elemental guardians decided it would be best if they magically created these little chibis who contain the knowledge of how to use the powers. They don't have any magic at all, but the only magic they have is the knowledge of past ancestors. And as you get older and stuff and more mature, they start telling you how to do certain things as they figure you could probably handle it. Now, I'm not going to say that this job is exclusively for adults, because typically they want exclusively adults, but the youngest you can become an elemental guardian is 16. Pretty young, I know, I know. But, well... They want, they don't like it, but most of the time they can't pick when you, 
it happens because if an elemental guardian dies, which the only way an elemental guardian can die is if another elemental guardian kills them. And believe it or not, but the elemental guardian uh, title gets passed down along with the magic because the creature, the people who are the elemental guardians, they can only, well, they can only withstand the power for so long before their body deteriorates. So they have to pass it on down to another generation because if they don't, the magic goes rampant and everything is just awful. So yeah, that's not fun. As I said before, it's typically passed down through generations within a certain family. Fire elves are typically the fire elemental guardian, such as Crimson. She is a fire elemental guardian, and to become a fire elemental, elemental guardian, yeah, first have to be good friends or something or whatever in relation to the past guardian. You have to have the personality capable of withstanding the magic of the element. Like for starters, if you are the fire elemental guardian, then basically you have to be pretty chill. Have the personality of fire, of course, but at the same time you have to be self-disciplined so that you don't accidentally burn anything down, such as Crimson. Crimson is warm and friendly, like you would expect like a fire in a fireplace, just warm, friendly. But then at other times, she's like a raging forest fire. But those times are very few and far in between because she's so disciplined, but it still happens. Now for Sassy, for starters, the personality for Sassy is you have to be grounded, reliable, practical. You have to have good self-control. That's practically the case with all of the elemental guardians, fire more than anything. But with Earth, you it's kind of like a personality thing where you are, do have a good amount of self-control, but it's more along the line of strength-wise. And when I say that, you have to be stubborn. That's what I really mean. You have to be stubborn. <laughs> sassy, as her name implies, is sassy. She's friendly and all that, but not. She also, if I recall correctly from what my sister told me, is really into fashion and whatnot. So that's why you kind of see her sporting some fashionable duds here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sassy is what I would say a very strong and independent person. She knows what she wants and knows how to get it, but she also knows when to kind of back off and be more reasonable and more logical thinking and that sort of thing. <sighs> Her personality is very interesting, to say the least. <laughs> and I'm sorry if you see nothing but black. In my stu in my editor, it's showing me nothing but black. I hope it's not showing black in the video because really, that would mean my recorder is giving me nothing but mm, it. My it means my recorder is not being nice. <sighs> I it's not being black as it is in my editor the darn thing sigh yes I uh, I voiced I said the word sigh there's nothing wrong with it well I might as well explain the other characters 
You have Edmund, the shadow element. You have Avleon, the water element. Azure, the ice element. Uh, April, the air element. You have Lilith, the light element. Who else? Sassy, of course, is the earth element. Crimson is the fire element. And I think there's one more. I hope I'm not forgetting them. That would be awful. <laughs> oh, and Havoc, the chaos element. I think Havoc, the chaos element, is mine and my sister's favorite just because he's so crazy. <laughs> he's so wacky and almost out of this world and all of that. All right. Now, for some exciting news, possibly, maybe. One of these days, I don't know when, but me and my sister hope to make an animated series off of this. Of all the adventures they go through and all of this and that. It would be really so much fun. The characters are fleshed out and all this, and we kind of want to go somewhere with the story and make it into like something everyone can enjoy but we like I said I don't know when it's happening hopefully soon as I'm like designing characters already good good gravy <laughs> but with the animated series Suffice to say, it wouldn't come out, not even the pilot would come out unless we, until at the very least, we have animated the entire season. Yes, you heard that right, the entire season. And my reason being behind that is because I don't want there to be, me and my sister agree with this, we, 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 I should say we, because it's it would be our series. We don't want to be mul lot huge month wait between these different episodes. And instead, it would be like so many different amounts of waiting time for each episode. That's basically what Netflix does. You don't see a new episode on any of your favorite shows until they have a new season ready. Frustra frustrating as it may be, it makes sense. So, yes. We're, we, me and a my sister, we don't know what animation to go for either. I was kind of spitballing ideas, like maybe some really stylized 2D artwork. It would take a lot of work, but I want it to look as beautiful as possible. Or 3D animation that looks 2D. Think of like in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, you know that one movie where you have Spider-Man and all that and it looks like a comic book. I kind of want it to look like that. Well, not look like that. I that's the thought process where it looks where it looks 2D even though it's 3D. Or like Dragon Ball Z what Z this video game. It's all 3D, believe it or not, but it's supposed to look 2D and it looks incredible. It looks so 2D that, oh my goodness, it is amazing. But that would be my thought processes as I was spitballing the idea to my sister of 3D that looks 2D. It would be less work when it comes to animating, but I think it would be more work when it comes to the modeling. Sorry if you could hear background noise. That is my siblings, specifically my younger brother. <laughs> They're a mess, but you know, you gotta love your siblings. At least a little. <laughs> oh goodness. As I was saying, <laughs> oh well, as I was saying, it would be more work to put into the character model, but I think it would be worth it. And of course, I want it to be as visually stunning as possible. Something that we, me and my siblings, 
I say siblings because I I have yet to see if my brother will join in on this and maybe provide some voice acting. He could do some unique voices. <laughs> but for now, it's me and my sister. So me and my sister, we want to make something that, you know, we're proud of. And only until we're satisfied with it will we put it to the public viewing. It may sound selfish, but believe me, your the worst critic you have is yourself. And until that worst critic is satisfied, it not then we wouldn't be able to put that t t to anybody else. Boy, I was speaking fast there. <laughs> But yes, we wouldn't be able to let anybody else watch it until we're satisfied, which might take a while, but it would be so worth it as it would be stunning, the story would be beautiful, at least to us, and hopefully to a bunch of other people too. <sighs> but that is all I have for that bit of news. Now, I have more news. Are you ready for it? I don't think y'all are. I don't think y'all are. Okay, I think you're ready. <laughs> My... Okay, okay. I am now taking commissions. You heard that right. I am now taking commissions. I will leave down below in the description everything you need to know. Or a link to where everything you need to know. It will include my terms of service my payments, what you would have to pay me if you want a commission, and if our budget needs to be, you know, reworked a little bit as it, not in the initial asking price. I'm not budging on the first asking price, but how it goes is I will have the initial asking price and then depending on the artwork and how the progress goes, the budget may need our budget may need to increase or something of the like. But like I said, I am not budging on the beginning initial asking price because I believe that is pretty fair and I see a lot of other artists would actually say charge more, but you know, I, I'm not gonna do that unless there's a high demand for my artwork. So, there we go. With that all out of the way, I'm just going to wrap this video up and then I'll see you next week. So next week, I'm going to be doing more of your C's. And then, and then we'll see if I have any commissions by then. <laughs> Until then, I'll see y'all next time. I'll see y'all later. Later, Gators.